What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. 2010, baby! Finally in this decade, here on the show. Welcome! And I am here every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk wrestling, to play wrestling games, discuss wrestling news, etc., etc. And we are continuing, as we are in the real world, on the road to WrestleMania. So in the games here, just finish up 09, gonna hit 2010, road to WrestleMania. And I am gonna go from left to right here, but I'm going to save the attack slug road until the very end. So we're gonna start here with Edge today. And a very nice video package that I could not show because of YouTube things. Uh, live actual video is never a good idea here on YouTube. You get flagged real quick. Real, real quick. But welcome back to SmackDown. I just finished a SmackDown story in 09, so here we go. Oh my! No more coal in his creepy ass mustache. Welcome to SmackDown. Live from Tampa, Florida. I'm Jim Ross. Alongside my tag team partner, Taz. And we've got some breaking news that could shake the foundation of WWE. It's huge news, JR. Seems as if Miss McMahon has decided to give SmackDown a facelift and name a new general manager. The catch? Only winners are eligible. A new boss? Who's it gonna be? We're starting down the road to WrestleMania, folks, and get ready for a wild ride. I will, JR. Boomer sooner. Okay, how is this going to work? I actually have no idea. We got options, we got exit, and we got save. So, kind of those three things. And options are just the usual game options, it's fine. Playing on normal, leaving on subtitles, etc, etc. Turning off the stamina system, because who cares. Here we go, week one, with the rated R superstar. Edge versus Triple H, sure. I think I know him, I think I know him, and I welcome you to a fine Monday here on the program. Brand new week. Brand new game, uh, well, not new, but new for me anyway. Uh, new video series, if you will. And man, news on news on news and such. First and foremost, according to a leaked WrestleMania magazine promo whatever, Mark Henry, Hall of Fame, according to this thing, had an interview saying, hey, from the Hall of Pain to the Hall of Fame. And obviously he has not been announced yet, perhaps today, perhaps by the time this video goes up at 5 p.m., because I'm recording this at like 10 in the morning, then they'll have officially announced that uh, for tonight's Raw and whatever else. But I've said before, and I'll say it again, that nobody up to this point has ever done a kayfabe Hall of Fame thing, and I would love if Mark Henry showed up in the salmon suit and totally got us all again, swerved us, and World Strongest Slam somebody on that Hall of Fame stage, and then, I don't know, put him in the Battle Royal or whatever, something. It's the kind of swerve that you can kind of only really do once, but man, it would be amazing if they did. Anyway, regardless, if he's actually going in, congrats, Mark Henry totally deserves it. Anyway, moving on, we have Daniel Bryan teasing again, saying, well, maybe they'll clear me for a tag match for WrestleMania. I have serious doubts on that, um, and he obviously wants to wrestle. Whether or not they actually clear him in any real capacity, we know once his deal is up in September, I think the 23rd, I believe, he's done, he's out. He's going to go somewhere else, Ring of Honor, New Japan, Mexico, plenty of places would love to have Daniel Bryan uh, on their cards to sell some tickets and pop some ratings, and he just wants to wrestle. So, one way or another, I think we will see Daniel Bryan in the wrestling ring wrestling this year. So who knows what ring that'll be in, but it's time to play the game. Alright, here we go. How different are the controls? Oh, there's no giant bars in the top of the thing to show me where my meter is. That's a change, that's weird, but okay. Anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, for those wondering about that WCW Thunder on the network, apparently today will be the day for Thunder. And there will be 72 episodes of Thunder, which is about half of the entire run of that show. Which, still, that's like over 100 hours of content in one day is a lot of content, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you want to watch all that really weird B-show stuff for WCW. Um, so that'll be a thing, uh, at some point on the network today, today, so there's that, 
uh, John Cena. And I'm not super clear on this, but John Cena either hosting or only doing some kind of executive producing on a Nickelodeon show called Keep It Spotless, I think was the name of the show. I have it written down here. It's really small text. I think it's Keep It Spotless. Um, looking kind of like some kind of a Double Dare-ish type thing where you got all the gross slime you would have on Nickelodeon and whatnot. But it was not super clear if he was actually going to be on the show all the time. Because they said it's going to be a daily show. It's going to start airing uh, at the end of this month. So I have a, I either he filmed a bunch of things to kind of put at the beginning and the end. He's not, not actually hosting hosting because obviously that, that would take a lot of his time. And the dude is very, very, very busy as John Cena. Very busy. Um, but, I don't know. That's gonna be a thing at the end of this month. So, I guess keep an eye on that for those people who want to watch Nickelodeon, I, I guess? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, like, people said, oh, he's hosting, and then I just saw, oh, he's executive producing. So, those are two very different things for one John Cena, the face who runs the place. Alright, so I have an S there. Now, here's the thing. I had to get used to the fact that, uh, in this game, picking the guy up is not clicking the stick anymore. It is hitting B. And I've been so much clicking the stick to pick guys up for a while now. So I gotta actually go over here and hit B and then hit Y. Or what? What is Edge's signature? What is... I don't even know. Because it's not working. Neck breaker. Oh, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. I gotta find the correct move situation for myself uh, to make this happen. I don't know what it is. This is a problem. This is a problem. Alright, well, we will hopefully not get ourselves beat here in the very very first match. Oh! Really, Triple H? Really? Uh, versus Triple H here. That, that would be certainly a bad thing. Is it when he's on the ground? Like, what is the actual scenario here for Edge? Because I tried to do it when I was running, and he didn't do it. So, I, try, I tried to do it when he was dizzy. Didn't do it. So... Oh boy. Boy oh boy. We're already episode one. Nope, hitting Y. Hitting Y. Running hitting Y. Nothing. Hitting Y on the ground. Nothing. What is is it from behind? Come up. Go behind. No. Is it a top rope deal? I I don't know. I got the S. But I don't know. Nope. Certainly not. Certainly not. Let's just pin him right now without even hitting finisher. I don't even care. I'll, t I'll take a pinfall. Nope, one count. Alright, well we gotta hit a finisher here somehow. I just don't know how. Oh, okay. I'll take that. Oh, and I hit it. I didn't hit B. I didn't hit B. Pick him up. Turn, turn. Stun the man. Crap. Here we go. Why? Okay, sure. The education, education, one of them edge named moves. Um, and then what is drag? What is drag? I don't know, and I keep clicking on the stick, and I'm so used to clicking on the stick now, so that's gonna be fun to get that habit out of my system. Yeah, make him tap. Nope. Nah, son. So, I don't know when it has the Y, or when it, when it, when it, when it has the, the S and not the finisher. Uh, you would think I would have a thing to do there, but nothing I wanted to do actually worked, so I don't know. And GameStop didn't have a manual with the games. I don't have a manual, so that's a problem. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something, and I'm sure it'll be all in my comments as far as what I am missing. Uh, but that's kind of not, neither here nor there. Woo! Woo! Here we go. Pick him up. Put him down. Taking a chance. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so that's kind of that stuff I think I have here on my on my system. On my stuff. On my news. Let's try to get rid of Triple H here. We're moving into the other news stories that I have uh, for the day. Rope break. I gotta figure out how to drag because that's gonna be a problem. B and left stick is drag. I still don't know how to hit this apparent signature because apparently whatever I'm doing is wrong. So that's fun. Triple H getting all, yep, getting all hyped for it, but no, he's not doing nothing there. He's not doing nothing for nobody. So, there's that. Uh, also, yep, 
I'm hitting Y when I'm in the grapple. Not working. So we just keep on hitting him until we actually get the finisher because I don't know what Edge's signature is. I tried it on the ground. I tried it. I mean, perhaps it's. You know what? Whatever. It's time for. No? No spear? How is he not hitting a spear? I don't understand how that happened. Is this before the spear? I don't. What? What is happening? No, Triple H. I hit right trigger, Triple H. I'm gonna lose it. I lost it. I lost it. And Triple H still. Uh, doing them cross shops. Not cool, Trips. Just because you run the company, not cool. Woo! Alright, you know what? Let's get into our, our other news story because this is gonna take way too long. Well, this is gonna be a one match show today because uh, I don't know how to play the game. So, I don't know how to play the game. Uh, Anyway, anyway, um, the greatest Royal Rumble will have seven championship matches, which means that probably Brock not going to retain at WrestleMania, because there's no way you're going to get Brock to Saudi Arabia for a one-off show like this. There's no freaking way. It's just not happening. And I know, okay, he did the Beast in the East in 2015. I get it, right? But the whole reason Brock was in Japan was to go see his friends. And he turned his vacation into a payday. Aw, oh, really? Really? I didn't mean to do that. Triple H, get back in the ring. Play the game. I'm going to lose it again. Get back in the... What are you taking your time for? Well, he's being smart. He's using his noggin there. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Come on, Triple H. I lost it again. This is the longest freaking SmackDown match. And I missed. And I missed. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, so, it will be all of basically the men's title matches. And none of the, none of the, none of the women, because, you know, Saudi Arabia. Um, but, also, uh, perhaps you, you might not know what's illegal in Saudi Arabia? Dabbing. So, I would assume no Perkins, no TJP won't be there. Uh, that's kind of half his gimmick, is dabbing. So... Unfortunate for him, I suppose. Um, but... Referee, no! I didn't mean to do that! Ref bump! In this main event here. Okay, so... That's... That's kind of the thing there, and yeah, so I see, obviously, Roman Reigns wins, uh, the title at Mania, and then defends it at this show at the end of April in Saudi Arabia, right? So, that being said, I mean, at the very least, at the very least, we know that if Roman is defending the belt, uh, he won't be winning the greatest Royal Rumble. Or will he? Big dog and a big dog. With that impressive win, Edge has granted himself an audience with Mr. McMahon. Oh boy. Well, I don't know if I could sweet talk the boss into letting him run SmackDown, but I'd still love to be a fly on the wall in that meeting. Well, all right, Dan. Rated R. Superstar. Doing it big here on SmackDown. <laughs> of course. Of course he is. In a suit. Of course he is. Mr. McMahon. Do you have a minute, sir? Edge. I'm not surprised to see you. Why don't we cut to the chase? Go ahead, ask. I'm guilty. You got me. I do want something. I know exactly what you want. You want to become the new general manager of SmackDown. Do I? Go ahead and say it. Well, no, sir. My being here involves the GM position, but I came to recommend someone else for the job, not to ask for it myself. Vicky... Um, Maria. Hello, Mr. McMahon. You look very dapper today. I'll tell you what, Mr. McMahon. You take a minute and, um, check her references. I'm sure if you look hard enough at her, uh, resume, you'll find she's quite qualified to be SmackDown's new GM. Later. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming to you live from New Orleans. 
It's Snitsky. Tonight we get the first appearance by SmackDown's new general manager. Miss McMahon's kept it a secret all week. Who's it gonna be? I've given up guessing what Mr. McMahon's gonna be doing around here. Good idea. I would like you all to welcome SmackDown's new general manager, Maria. Thank you, Mr. McMahon. I am ecstatic about being named the new GM for this brand. I just want to assure everyone that SmackDown is in good hands. My first initiative is to leave the past behind and to inform every person on the roster that starting tonight, everyone has been given a clean slate and will be evaluated with a fresh set of eyes. This is a chance for those who have been overlooked to get the attention and recognition they claim to deserve. So... Of course, like everything in WWE, nothing's easy. It's put up or shut up. Thank you. So you're saying it's a land of opportunity, hmm? That sounds familiar. Is Edge's ringtone really his own theme music? Really? Good luck tonight, Edge. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks. Anyway, day one in the books for 2010 should be a long road until the actual WrestleMania 34. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.